Hello everyone, I'd like to first thank you for taking the time to view our materials and listen to our presentation today. Uh, we're very excited to share what we have for you today, so without further ado, I'm going to go right into introductions. My name is Daniel Charlton, I'm the leader for Group 2. With me on my team are Cameron Jean Caterino, Connor Duffy, Emma Brow, Kayla Johnson, and Ryan Bullitt. So before we get into the content of our actual presentation, uh, I'm going to go over a brief agenda, and then I'll let my team take it away from there. First and foremost, we have our central idea and inspirations behind our campaign, which Kayla will go over, followed by a situation analysis, which she will also then go into. After that, we'll go over our marketing strategy, as well as how we're planning on distributing the ads to our target market, which Ryan will uh, describe in more detail. Following that, we have our advertising campaign, which is broken up between Cameron and Emma. Cameron will go over our hero advertisement, which has two versions, one for inside of Uptown and one for outside of Uptown. And then Emma will go over our supporting advertisements which help tell the cohesive story that we are seeking to tell with our advertising campaign. Following that, uh, Connor will then go over the KPIs for this campaign, as well as the next steps the Uptown can take, and hopefully if you just choose to move forward with our plan and our advertising campaign, how to contact us following this presentation. So without further ado, I'm gonna now hand it over to Kayla, who will then go over our inspirations behind this campaign. To start off, we wanted to talk about the central idea and inspirations for our marketing plan. Um, first, we really wanted to highlight community attention and also the artistic history of Uptown. And we wanted to emphasize the growth potential of the area and also create a spotlight on creativity and the upward trend of Uptown. Next, going into situation analysis for our marketing plan, our market demographics want to target young professionals age 20 to 35 that have either graduated or are graduating from college and looking for housing and also possibly have a disposable income. This could also include commuters working either downtown in Oakland or any area surrounding uptown, um, small businesses looking for affordable storefronts, or artists looking for a tight-knit community that they could find in Uptown. Some market growth trends include Uptown currently has around 6,000 residents, 61% are white, 32% African American, 2% Asian, and 6% Hispanic. The median income for Uptown is around 23,000. This topic goes um, a lot more in depth in our marketing plan. Competition that Uptown faces both include indirect and direct competition. Some direct competition includes Shadyside, Lawrenceville, Friendship, East Liberty, and also other similar areas um, around Uptown with kind of a similar motive. Indirect competition includes outside investors trying to gentrify the area. We will next be talking about our marketing strategy. All right, so now for our marketing strategy. First, our value proposition. We think Uptown offers a great history and art scene and other great amenities. And as we mentioned, it's on an upward trend. So we think that's very attractive to people. For our marketing objective, we want to create a diverse and popular Pittsburgh neighborhood. So we really want people to see Uptown as more than just a pass through. Um, a place where people can actually come to when there's no sporting events, no concerts, and just come for the businesses, come for the art, come for the, the environment. And so our target market, we want to target college graduates in the greater Pittsburgh area. So we know that Uptown has an aging population, aside from uh, Duquesne students. A lot of people that live in Uptown are on the older side, and so we think Bringing in younger people will help build Uptown and put it on that upward trajectory. And so for the branding perception, um, kind of similar. We want to create a clean, safe, and welcoming community. We want people to see Uptown as a place where they can come and enjoy themselves and be safe. So now into the advertising. We want to use first social media platforms. So a mix of paid social media ads and posts on the account using hashtag this is Uptown. So since we're targeting younger people, we want to use social media because everyone's on social media. Um, so LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And we will also 
be doing text message campaigns to build awareness about Uptown and what it has to offer. So we'll leverage social media and our other ads to get people to sign up for our ads. So every once in a while, they'll get a text reminding them about Uptown. We think this could, um, it's always good to have Uptown on people's minds and it might trigger someone to want to go to Uptown to get food or something or to check out the murals on the wall or the art, whatever. And so finally, our billboards and posters throughout the greater Pittsburgh region. So we're gonna target areas of Pittsburgh where many recent college grads live. But the good thing about posters and billboards is that everyone can see them. Um, so Uptown will always be on people's minds. So now moving into the actual ads themselves, let's discuss our base for the overall campaign and our supporting ads, the Hero ad. Beginning with some clarification, we will have two distinct versions of our Hero ad. One within Uptown, showcasing only the Uptown Partners logo, and one outside of Uptown, displaying the full Uptown Partners name, just to avoid any confusion. For our Hero ad, we wanted to focus on the artistic nature of Uptown, and use this theme of art to highlight what we think Uptown could be, asking our audience, how will they paint Uptown? What will they do to make their town a better place that they can be proud of living in? A place where art runs rampant, painting the city as a canvas, that will be our theme and breathing life into what otherwise is just another gray town in Pittsburgh with cloudy weather majority of the time. We feel this is also a great way to avoid complete gentrification of the town. We wanna change the perception surrounding Uptown of not only current inhabitants, but also people who may live there in the future. We want them to express themselves and make that a defining feature of the people who live there. We want the art to connect those within and outside of the community to bring people closer together through the joy that comes with art and its endless and infinite ways of expression. So with that, let's now dive into how our supporting ads will help us get there. For our first supporting ad, we have our map advertisement. And again, we're continuing the theme of Uptown as a canvas and we're emphasizing the art scene that's present in Uptown. And we're also maintaining Uptown Partners brand colors and we're using that throughout all of these ads. And in this ad, we wanted to raise awareness of Uptown to other neighborhoods of Pittsburgh. Our second supporting ad is our postcard ad, and we're using that same canvas theme. So it says a canvas waiting to be painted. And we wanted to show that there's a lot of opportunity in Uptown and it's really open to anyone and whoever you know, comes to Uptown, whether that's visiting, opening a business, um, they can really make it their own. And our third supporting ad is this graffiti ad. We wanted to show that urban local art um, and we have all of these words surrounding Uptown that is associated with the neighborhood. So we got these from community members, from the website. Um, so we have things like eco innovation, dynamic, community, and just things that are associated with Uptown and we want um, to continue to be associated with the neighborhood. Like with any project, key performance indicators or KPIs are an important way to measure the progress and effectiveness of a new implementation. We have thought of a few different KPIs to measure the success of our proposed advertising campaign. The first of which is tracking the amount of donations that Uptown Partners receives after the advertising campaign is put in place. Next, we believe it's important to track the number of social media mentions and impressions that Uptown receives on a daily basis. This can be through apps such as Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Another important KPI will be recording the attendances of any event that Uptown Partners hold after the new campaign goes out. This is especially important because it is a good metric of how many people are actively engaged and want to go out and make new connections within the Uptown community. As well, an additional KPI worth keeping an eye on is the baseline number of new residents that come into and live in Uptown. Finally, we believe it's important to log the number of people who join an email list or text message sign up. Whether this is at an in-person event or online, this is a crucial KPI to measure because it shows that people are interested in Uptown as a cause and want to learn even more. If successful, Uptown partners should take this new traction gained by the advertising campaign and showcase the results to potential sponsors or partners that are willing to cooperate with their vision. In addition, we believe it's important for Uptown Partners to continue to highlight unique aspects of Uptown and its people. 
We think this will help draw in more attention and traffic to support the EID plan past its initial intentions. With more resources, Uptown Partners can continue to provide community resources and updated development plans, as well as more programs to showcase local artists and talents. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to our presentation. We have left our contact information on this slide, so feel free to re reach out to us with any questions you may have. Our main point of contact is Daniel, and he will be happy to get in touch with you. We would love to meet in two weeks' time on December 23rd to discuss even more.